Ooh, baby, let's go quick. What's up, guys? It's Alec Mac 111. Welcome back to another unboxing video. And for last week's video, if you guessed $750, you will be able to message me because you will receive a free patch as well as a free sticker for you guys. So I have a pretty cool unboxing today. Um, I actually want to give you a little bit of a hint. First up, this is something that is not part of the unboxing, but this is a gun I want to do a review on. So this is the new ASG pistol. This is like the ASG slash Action Army. My buddy Ben let me borrow this to do a review on. I'm thinking about doing reviews like every other Tuesday or something, so let me know what you guys think. But this thing is super, super cool. I love review videos. I've done them in the past, but it's kind of been a while since I've done them because there hasn't been a whole lot of new stuff that has come out to the market. I don't have access or sponsorships or anything like a lot of these bigger YouTubers do when getting stuff early so maybe I'll work some of that and I do want to try and get some of that in 2021 because I want to make some really high quality reviews so you guys can see some cool stuff and then also I get to mess with some new cool stuff and then get you guys some good information on if you should buy them or not. Alrighty boys, time to start this unboxing out with an absolute banger. Up here is a Tokyo Marui 5.1 high cap. Uh, you guys know I'm a sucker for him. I saw this bad boy on eBay and I was like, ooh, that looks really cool. And so I had to go ahead and buy it. So I actually saw this high cap for a pretty decent price on eBay and I was like, man, that looks cool. I've never seen anything quite like it. And so I ended up pulling the trigger and here we have a Tokyo Marui 5.1 high cap. And as you can tell by this, this is actually metal. When I saw this on eBay, I wasn't 100% sure if it was going to be metal or if it was gonna be plastic, but the slide is actually metal and it looks like the outer barrel is what is plastic. So if you can tell, I'm not actually exactly sure what sign that is or anything. It kind of looks like one of those yin yang symbols or something. I don't know if it's anything related to like Umbrella Corporation, but he also did the same thing on the trigger, which looks really good. Comes with the mag, everything in here. It does not look like it was hardly used at all. Um, looks like they've got some sort of little silver guide rod in here as well. Looks like it's just a stock 5.1, except for a few of the upgrade parts. Oh, it does have some short stroke buffers in there. This is a nicer cap than is stock with the pistol. Definitely a lot shinier. The red outer barrel is really interesting. I just think it looks really cool. That's the reason I kind of got it. Obviously, I love 5.1 high kappas. I'm working on that build for my birthday with Sutton from LA Kappa, Kappa Customs. So I'm pretty hyped for that. We just finalized the build part for that. My man has also gone out of the way and done the hammer red. He's also done the grip screws red, and it does look like it has an upgraded bucking as well as barrel. It's a light blue bucking, which is like one of the Autobot or Decepticon ones, a maple leaf, and it looks like it's also a maple leaf barrel as well. So this was actually a pretty big win. Pretty good first little part of the unboxing. Awesome little pistol. Absolutely love it. Look, Tokyo Marie Mag looks brand new, and it feels Super, super good. Alrighty, next part of the unboxing. Is it really an Alec Mag 1 unboxing if there's not a Polar Star? I do have a little bit of explaining to do, I'm not gonna lie. So about four days ago, I got this upper receiver. It came in like one of those big UPS yellow envelopes. And I was like, who? What name is that? I did not recognize it at all. It was definitely something I bought off eBay, but I expected, and I opened it up, and this is what came with it. And I was like, Where, when the heck did I just order an upper receiver? And then about two days ago, this one came. So it was like two or three day difference when the box came as to when the envelope came. Uh, so I did use the envelope to ship out some of my disc golf discs, sorry. But we will get to see this gun new. Alrighty, here we go. So I would assume the lower as well as the other parts are in here, and yes, they are. So I'm a little bit sorry for opening the upper, but I was dying to know what it was, and I forgot the name of the guy I ordered it from, and it came from a different name than I ordered it on eBay, so that's why I was a little bit confused, but here is the gun. All right, so up first, I noticed this is a little bit interesting. It is a Polar Star F1 engine in here, which actually is pretty cool, but the dude has some sort of foam that he's kind of wrapped around everything. I am not sure if that helps for fitment or for silencing, but I can safely say that I have never, ever seen that in an airsoft gun before where he's put foam. I mean, you foam fill suppressors, but I don't think you foam fill your engine. You can correct me if I'm wrong, but... So I double checked the box and he did not include the front body pin, which kind of sucks. That's a little bit annoying as I can't put it back together and it is not anywhere around here. So hopefully I have an extra one where I can message him and hopefully he will send it to me. Um, but it does have a nice M-Lock rail system. This is one of the stoner rifles. I believe this is like the EMG special ones that they're kind of releasing. It's SR-16, has all full Knight's trades. He did put an Ares Amoeba grip on here, which is interesting. Looks like he's running the Amped IGL in some sort of like... Bob Marley style. It's actually pretty cool right there. It's like the Jamaica colorway in a sense. He's got the sling there that he did not include, but he's got the sling mount there. And then up here, he's got the laser, which looks like he's running on his 
right side, which is the side I run on. And then it looks like he's got a pretty cool little flash header here too. I don't know exactly what brand this is. I don't know if this is the one that came through it, but it looks really sleek. Looks like he's also included an Aimpoint T1 of sorts as well. I'll put this all together just so you guys can see what it looks like. Alrighty, so that is what it's gonna look like fully assembled. Last but certainly not least that I did not mention is that Magpul MOE SL stock. This is actually super cool. I do not know if I've ever had one of these before, but it feels really good. It looks like you have to take it off to be able to access the battery and the FCU, which is fine. Um, but it actually feels really comfy and it looks like it's in really good shape. I actually really like how it fits with this gun as well. And then it does have a speed trigger that has been tuned with the F1, which should be pretty good. You can tell just kind of how light the trigger pull is that those are when they're tuned. These speed triggers are awesome. I like the straight ones a lot. I also like the curved ones. I think my favorite one is probably the retro arms triggers, but this is an awesome Polar Star build. Great one to throw in an Alec Mack little unboxing. Fits just along well. Alrighty, up next is actually an order I did for a buddy of mine. So he reached out to me. He actually um, is part of one of the islands within the US. Um, but he said, hey man, there's some super cool stuff. These old P mags that are from Airsoft Extreme. Um, and so basically he was like, hey, I want you to order these and then I'll pay you. And I had not seen them in a long time. So I think what we're gonna do is that he's gonna get two of them and then I'm going to get one of them. But these are the super old Magpul P mags. I did have to order a bucking in order for it to be a little bit uh, cheaper shipping wise. So I think I ordered one of the, yeah, it was one of the Promi Purples buckings. These things are absolutely awesome. So in order to get over the $100 free shipping with these, because these mags were like 30 bucks and these are super, super cool. I don't know if you guys have seen these older ones, but these used to be like what everybody loved back in the day. These were like, oh man, you have the Magpul P mags. I really liked the light blue ones. I thought they were super cool. I'd see some dudes running around. There were some that were actually milled out to be used as PTW mags. So when dudes had those blue ones and the PTWs, I remember it was like a 13 little airsoft. Or I was like, oh my gosh, those are so cool. They used to give you these magazines with the GMP guns. Like, let me show you. I'm working on this gun for a customer, but you can see these Magpul lowers. This is what the old GMP Magpul MOE carbines used to come with. When I bought, it was like 420, like the first really big airsoft gun that I bought. And they used to come with these tan Magpul P mags that are super sought after now. They were super, super nice. Just the mags alone are like 30 bucks. The fact that they included that was such a nice gun. I mean, it was $420, so that's a lot of money, but it definitely made it a little bit more worth it when you got these nice of mags with it. These orange ones are really cool. I do like the orange ones. I don't know how Airsoft Extreme ended up getting an older sh shipment of these because I do not think these are made anymore. Um, they've pretty much all moved to like the PTS EPMs. But if you do find these, or if you have one of these, these are the old ones. You can actually put all the bottom out and then pull the entire magazine out. So you can like switch the shell if you wanted to. If you kind of unscrew that screw right there, you can push it out. If you wanted to kind of run orange and black or like a tan and gray. I think that, or I don't think I've ever made a gray. I think they made an OD. I think they had an orange, blue, OD, desert, and then black. I think were the five colors that they made. Alrighty boys, you've seen this big one on the side for a while. Last, but certainly not least, I got some more optics. So I've been loading up on optics for those of you guys that do not know. I'm actually planning on opening my own kind of website retail store. And so I've been ordering a lot of stuff in bulk and getting the best quality brands of anything possible. And so I have found these. These are 4 by 32 real zoom ACOG scopes. They have like a green, a blue, and a red reticle. So if you guys like those, um, it's actually pretty hard to get some of these optics well for like a good price and in the United States, but this is a high quality repro from what the research that I did, and it feels absolutely awesome in person. So I believe I bought like 20 of these. Um, you guys are gonna absolutely love these. The same with like the SRO repros and all those other optics that I got. I've kind of been loading up on them so that I can sell some to you guys, but also use them. I think I'm actually gonna throw this on my Polar Star. I think this is the optic that I'm gonna use because I think magnification, it's not super necessary in Airsoft, but it is really cool because you can see your BBs kind of hit people a little bit easier. Also, I love blue illuminated optics. There are not very many blue illuminated optics, and this has the super cool like kind of cross arrows with a little bit of the uh, elevation as well, which looks super good on it. <laughs> see you guys right there through this little scope, huh? These are nice too, because they do run off the normal scope batteries that are up here instead of some of those ones that are in the bottom that are really small and really annoying. So it will have pretty good battery life as well. It does look like it has the red fiber optic front sight on here as well as just like a normal white painted on the back side. But I love airsoft optics. I don't know about you guys, but I love being able to try different red dots and me opening up this world to finding all these other places that produce optics and have them shipped to me. I've sold a lot of you guys the SROs and you guys are absolutely loving them. I think I'm gonna buy a real one 
for my real Glock now that I've had one. I love the RMR, I think it's awesome, but the SRO just has such a big sight picture. I think it's super, super cool. Thanks for joining for another video, guys. This has been Alec Mac 111 and another unboxing. I also got a giant collection coming in next video or the video after, depending on what it is, that little white one right there. That boy is thick. It was like 50 pounds of airsoft goods. So that will be the next unboxing you guys see. But this has been Alec Mac 101, and I'll see you guys soon.